Let's walk on the wise path. Have you ever had a moment when everything around you felt like it was trying to tell you something? Maybe you keep seeing the same number over and over again on your phone, on billboards, or even in random places. Perhaps it's 11, 11, or 333. Or maybe you've heard the same song play on the radio three times in one day. Strange, right? It almost feels as though these things aren't just coincidences. But what if they're not random at all? Imagine this. These seemingly unexplainable events are messages. And not just any messages. These are coming from another version of you. Yes, you heard that right. A parallel version of yourself, living in a different reality, might be reaching across dimensions to send you a sign. It's not just some weird sci-fi concept or something out of a comic book. Science, quantum physics, and metaphysical theories have all dabbled with this idea. The universe is much more complex than we think, and in that complexity, different realities could be coexisting. What if, in a parallel world, another version of you made different choices, choices that led to different outcomes, and now that version of you is trying to send you guidance? What if they're trying to warn you, encourage you, or nudge you towards a path that could change everything. You know those moments of DJ Vu when you feel like you've lived a certain moment before? That eerie feeling when you think, wait, haven't I done this already? Could be your parallel self experiencing something similar at the same time. Or maybe your recurring dreams that seem so real are more than just random subconscious thoughts. They could be windows into another reality where you're living a different life. In this video, we're diving deep into these phenomena and exploring how you can recognize these signs from your parallel self. We're going to uncover the hidden messages that might be guiding you. So, if you've ever felt like there's more to reality than what meets the eye, buckle up, because this is going to blow your mind. Let's pause for a moment and think about those times in your life when things seem just a little too coincidental to ignore. Have you ever been going about your day, minding your own business, when suddenly something strange happens? Maybe you get that weird sense of DJ vu, like you're reliving a moment you swear you've experienced before. Or maybe you dream about something so vivid and detailed that you wake up convinced it's real. You might even notice a specific pattern, a number, a phrase, or a song popping up again and again, almost like the universe is trying to get your attention. Here's a thought. What if these moments aren't just random events? What if they're signs? Not from the future or from some outside force, but from you. More specifically, from another version of you existing in a parallel universe. Now, before you think this is just a wild theory with no basis, hear me out. Scientists and philosophers alike have been exploring the concept of the multiverse for years. It's the idea that our universe isn't the only one out there. In fact, there could be infinite versions of reality, each with its own timeline, and each with a different version of you living out a different life. Think of it like this. Every time you make a decision, a new reality is created. One version of you goes left, the other goes right. One becomes an artist, while the other becomes a scientist. These parallel versions of yourself are out there, living different experiences, but the boundaries between these worlds might not be as rigid as we once thought. In fact, these boundaries could be thin, allowing for moments of crossover. Those strange moments when you feel a little out of sync with reality, or when something happens that seems too perfect to be a coincidence, might be moments where your parallel self is reaching out. The multiverse theory opens up the possibility that your choices and experiences could be influencing or even communicating with your other selves. Okay, so let's break down the multiverse theory in a way that's easy to wrap your head around. Imagine that our universe is like a book, with every page representing a different moment in time. Now, instead of just one book, there are infinite books, and each one contains a different version of the same story. In one book, you chose to go to college, while in another, you didn't. In one, you moved to a new city, while in another, you stayed in your hometown. These books represent different realities, parallel universes, 
if you will, where different versions of you exist, each living out a different path. It's a mind-blowing concept, but scientists have been seriously studying this idea for decades. One of the main scientific foundations for the multiverse theory comes from quantum mechanics, specifically the idea of quantum superposition. In simple terms, it suggests that particles' tiny building blocks of our universe can exist in multiple states at once, only choosing a state when they are observed. This means that reality might not be as fixed as we think. If particles can exist in multiple states, then why not entire universes? Now, let's talk about quantum entanglement, a phenomenon that sounds like it belongs in a magic show, but it's actually grounded in science. This concept comes from the world of quantum physics, and it's as fascinating as it is mysterious. Quantum entanglement happens when two particles become so deeply connected that what happens to one instantly affects the other, no matter how far apart they are, even if they're on opposite sides of the universe. It's like they're linked by an invisible thread that transcends space and time. This connection is instantaneous, defying the conventional laws of physics that say nothing can travel faster than the speed of light. Now, if this is possible with particles, what does that mean for us as humans? Could our consciousness, our thoughts, feelings, and energy also be connected across vast distances, even across different realities? Let's get into the juicy part. How can you tell when your parallel self is trying to reach out to you? What are the signs you should be looking out for? Believe it or not, these signs can show up in your life in subtle yet powerful ways. And if you know what to look for, you'll start noticing them more often. Repeating numbers. One of the most common ways your parallel self might be reaching out is through repeating numbers, also known as angel numbers. Have you ever noticed that you keep seeing the same number over and over again? Maybe it's 1,111, 222, or 333. You might glance at the clock and it's 11, 11. Then you check your phone and there it is again, 1,111. These numbers aren't just coincidences, they're signs. Numbers carry specific energetic frequencies, and when they appear repeatedly, they re-often considered messages from the universe. But in the context of parallel realities, these numbers could be signals from a parallel version of yourself. Imagine that you and your parallel self are both at a crossroads in your respective lives. You're both making important decisions that could shape your future. The repeated numbers you see are like a signal that your experiences are aligning, that you and your parallel self are moving towards similar outcomes. It's as if the universe is putting up a neon sign saying, pay attention. Something significant is happening right now. Vivid dreams. Dreams are another powerful way your parallel self might be communicating with you. Have you ever had a dream so vivid, so real, that you woke up feeling like it actually happened? These dreams might not just be figments of your imagination. They could be glimpses into the lives of your parallel selves. When you dream about living a completely different life, one where you're in a different city, working a different job, or even embodying a different personality, it might be a peek into what one of your parallel selves is experiencing. The next time you have a dream that feels significant, don't brush it off. Take a moment to reflect on it. Could there be a message hidden in that dream? Could your parallel self be trying to show you something about your own life? Something you need to pay attention to? Dreams are like windows into other dimensions, giving you a sneak peek into the lives of your other selves. Synchronicities. You've probably heard the term synchronicity before. It's when everything seems to align perfectly in a way that feels almost magical. For example, you think about an old friend and suddenly they call you out of the blue. Or you keep hearing the same piece of advice from different people, all within a short period of time. These synchronicities could be signs that your parallel self is dealing with similar experiences and the universe is guiding both of you toward the same outcome. It's like you and your parallel self are on the same wavelength and these synchronicities are the universe's way of nudging you both in the right direction. When you start noticing these patterns, take them as signals that you're aligned with something bigger than yourself, something that transcends your current reality. 
Have you ever experienced something so strange that it made you stop in your tracks? Like when you put your phone down in one place, only to find it somewhere else entirely, even though no one else touched it? Or maybe you've been having a normal day, when suddenly time seems to stretch, and it feels like you've lived through an hour in just a few minutes. These moments are often referred to as reality glitches, and they can feel incredibly disorienting. But what if they're more than just quirks of perception? What if they're clues that parallel realities are briefly overlapping? Here's a wild idea. When you experience a glitch in reality, it might not just be in your head. It could be a sign that the boundary between your reality and a parallel one has thinned, allowing for a momentary crossover. Think of it like this. Imagine two movies being played on different screens. Usually, they're completely separate. But sometimes, for a split second, the images on the screens blur together. In that moment, the characters from one movie might seem to appear in the other. That's what a reality glitch could be your universe, and another briefly intersecting, letting you catch a glimpse of something that's not supposed to be there. For example, say you're going about your day, and suddenly you realize you've lost an hour. You were sure it was 2, 0 p.m., but now it's somehow 3, 0 p.m., and you can't account for the time. Or maybe you keep hearing the same conversation twice in a row, almost like time itself is repeating. These glitches can feel like the fabric of reality is momentarily fraying, giving you a peek behind the curtain into another version of yourself living out a different life. So now you might be wondering if these parallel versions of myself are really out there and they're sending me messages. How could I actually connect with them? How do I tune into these hidden messages from the multiverse? Is it even possible? The answer is yes, and the key lies in tuning into your intuition and learning how to recognize the signs around you. But first, let's talk about how you can create a stronger connection with your parallel self. One powerful way to do this is through visualization exercises. Visualization taps into your subconscious mind, which is more open to receiving information from higher planes of existence places where your parallel selves might reside. It's like tuning a radio to the right frequency. When you're on the right channel, you can start to pick up signals that were always there, but just out of reach. Here's a simple exercise you can try to begin connecting with your parallel self. Step one, find a quiet space. Start by sitting comfortably in a quiet space where you won't be disturbed for a few minutes. Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths. This will help clear your mind and bring your focus inward. The goal is to create a calm, focused state where you can be open to whatever messages come your way. Step two, visualize two versions of yourself. Now, imagine yourself standing in front of another version of you. This parallel self is living in a different reality, perhaps in a different city with different life choices. Try to visualize this version of you clearly. What do they look like? What are they wearing? How do they stand? What's the energy around them like? The more vivid and detailed your visualization, the stronger the connection. Step three, create an energy connection. Now, imagine a glowing line of light connecting you and your parallel self, linking your third eye, the area between your eyebrows to theirs. This light represents an energy bridge between your realities. Picture it as a bright, warm glow that strengthens the bond between you. Step four, ask for a message. Once the connection feels strong, mentally ask your parallel self a question. It could be something simple, like, what message do you have for me? Or what do I need to know right now? Stay open to whatever comes, whether it's a word, a feeling, an image, or even just a sense of knowing. Trust that whatever you receive is exactly what you need. Step five, ground yourself. After you've received your message, gently bring yourself back to the present by taking a few deep breaths. Slowly open your eyes and take a moment to reflect on the insights you gained. You might want to write down what you experienced so you can revisit it later. By practicing this exercise regularly, you'll begin to strengthen your connection with your parallel selves, making it easier to recognize the signs and messages they're sending. Remember, the key is to stay open and trust your intuition. The more you practice tuning in, 
the more attuned you'll become to the subtle messages that are already all around you. So, here's the big takeaway from all of this. The life you're living right now, in this moment, isn't the only version of reality. There are countless versions of you out there, all living out different possibilities. Every decision you make, every choice you don't take, creates a new branch in the infinite tree of existence. And sometimes, these other versions of you, the parallel selves living out different paths, try to reach out across dimensions to guide you. Think of it like this, your life is like a radio station, tuned to a specific frequency. But what if there are other stations broadcasting on nearby channels? Sometimes, when the signal gets a little fuzzy, you might pick up snippets from another station. That's what these signs are snippets of guidance, messages, and insights coming from your parallel self, who might have already walked a similar path. Maybe they've already made a choice you're struggling with, or maybe they've learned a lesson that could benefit you. These signs are like breadcrumbs, leading you toward a deeper understanding of yourself and your life's purpose. When you start to notice repeating numbers, vivid dreams, or synchronicities that seem too precise to be random, don't brush them off. These could be messages from your parallel self, nudging you toward a decision, a realization, or a path that's aligned with your true potential. It's like having a cosmic team of advisors versions of you who've already experienced different outcomes, offering their wisdom to help you navigate your own journey. The multiverse is vast, and the possibilities are endless. But here's the amazing part. You're not just a passive observer in all of this. You have the power to tune in, to recognize the signs, and to make conscious choices that align with your highest potential. By staying open to the messages your parallel self is sending, you can start to unlock new levels of insight, creativity, and intuition. So, the next time you see 11, 11 on the clock, or have a dream that feels like it's trying to tell you something, take a moment to reflect. Ask yourself, what is my parallel self trying to show me? What message is being sent from across dimensions? By embracing these signs and trusting your intuition, you'll not only deepen your connection with the multiverse, but also with the infinite potential that exists within you. The universe and all its infinite realities is more connected than we realize. And as you continue on your journey, remember that the answers you seek might already be within you, or they might be coming from a version of you that's already walked the path. Keep your mind open, trust the signs, and embrace the infinite you.